Hi guys, John here from Optics Warehouse. So this time round, we're going to be looking at the best night vision options of 2019. This is obviously our opinion on these, and we're going to do a rundown of what we've got on the table. We've got very limited room, so there are going to be a few more options that we will talk through at the end. So let's start with an old favourite. This is the newest version of this. This is the Photon RT 6.5. So they do have a smaller one, being a 4.5 times. Obviously that's going to be more set up for air rifle, ratting, anything you need slightly wider field of view and not so much magnification. Whereas this one's more of an all-rounder. So it does have its drawbacks though. As everybody knows with the Photons, you do have very limited MOA travel inside and also you generally need reach back mounts. So between the two, you generally either have to pack it or have adjustable mounts to get the correct eye relief and to get the reticle somewhere near the center. Now the good thing with the updated model, the IR that's on there does boost the range out quite nicely. So even with a standard IR, you're still gonna be looking at just about the 100, maybe just over the 110 yards. So battery packs in there. This one takes four double A's or you can buy uh, Pulsar's DNV battery pack, which gives you two, two batteries and a charger, and it does extend the battery life. So once again, nice and simple to use with the front focus. Everything's ergonomic with it, apart from just remember that you're gonna have to reach forward while holding the rifle up with that. So it, it can be a bit awkward for use in that way. So that's a quick overview of the RT. So we're moving on to the ATN 4K. So once again, it's a conventional 30 mil tube, makes it much easier to mount. Your eye relief, your eye doesn't have to be up to the back. It is the same as a normal conventional scope. So everything about this just lends itself to being set up and used very, very easily. Front focus again. So these generally are quite stiff when you first get them, but they do work nice and free after a few movements of it. Your zoom lever is here on the side. Once again, nice and easy to use and clear buttons here. You're not gonna mess up with which one it is. Your power button's a nice large one and everything is in big white writing. So it's, once again, easy to see. So they come in two types as well. You've got this one here, which is the three to 14, and you also have the five to 20. Same setup as the RT, lower magnification. You're looking at probably your closer range and your five to 20 just gives you that little bit more zoom up at the top power range of them, they're not the clearest. Obviously it is a digital unit and the screen will go pixelated up on full mag. So please try and avoid using that at night time on full mag because it really just will not work for you. Moving on to an add-on now. So this is the new Pulsar F455. Nice compact unit. It is a little bit weighty, a little bit like the old one. So having that hanging off the front of your scope may upset the balance of your gun slightly. So you're probably gonna be using it with a bipod or a um, set of shooting sticks anyway. You're not really gonna to wanna to be trying to move that around too much freehand. Clarity on this. It is a much better, clearer image than the older 155, but obviously you'd expect that being the newer updated model. The IR that's on here, once again, bigger unit, does push the distance out a bit further, so it's easily capable of over 100 yards. Probably say about 150 of that one would be a nice, clear, usable distance in any sort of condition. So, got your focus on the top again for setting the screen up. All the buttons, once again, clear, precise, easy to use. And you can also get a rear add-on for this, which allows you to use that as a monocular. So that sums up the F455. So keeping with the add-ons, we'll move to the PARD 007. Now, as most of you watching this video are probably all aware, this is the most popular unit available at the moment and for good reason. It's cheap, it does the job. If you wanna swap it from gun to gun, each adapter is only around about the 20 pound. So you buy one unit, a few adapters, and it will suit most of the rifles you've got out there. All you need to remember, the same as any add-on, it needs to be of a parallax adjustable scope and preferably something that's either recommended to be used with night vision or the cheaper end of the scale. So, the PAR 007 once again, it's light, 
The only thing that some people do have trouble with it with is when you put it onto the back of the scope, it can have to move your head back a little bit further, which can be uncomfortable. So what I try saying to people is if you move your scope half inch further forwards on the action, when you've got that set up there, your head position half inch further forwards doesn't ever really create too much of an effort. It's comfortable, it's easier to move your head forwards than it is back. So when you have the pad on there, it's not gonna be uncomfortable and it should be a nice natural position when you've got that fitted. So moving on, we're gonna stay with the pad again, but this is gonna be the 008 now. So this is PARD's full-time weapons mounted unit. It's a lot more tough built, it's a heavier unit, but it is compact. So for an all-in-one unit, reticle in there, it gives you probably about 100, 150 yards I've been told, but I'm not too sure it would be clear at that range with the onboard IR. But that that is a really, really nice bit of kit for the money. I mean, it's around about the 600 pound mark, which is very, very competitive when you look at the fact that the Photon is around that price. The difference in size compared to the two, as you can see there, yet they both have very similar performance. And I'd say that the pad is actually clearer and easier to use, especially with the zeroing. You haven't got the issues of having limited MOA adjustment inside. There is a vast amount of adjustment in there. With, as with all the pad units, you have a, um, a laser on there. So one quick, switch of that once again close range ratting or you need quick fire really easy just to flick a button laser comes on set that up where you need to whack down it goes once again really nice unit the pod units are probably our most popular night vision unit they are very very nice bits of kit for a very competitive price okay so moving on finally to the elite essentials range 400 meter viewer so with this night vision viewer, as you can see here, you've got a nice rubber cover that goes across your face, stops the uh, light from the screen being emitted anywhere else other than there. So you're not gonna be picked up by your quarry as you're looking for it. So huge, great screen on that, makes it really clear to use, really easy to see. You're not squinting, you're not straining. And the good thing is because you use both eyes open at the same time, you're not getting that single black eye night vision blindness where you then struggle to see where you're going and your depth perception of where you're walking, it, it becomes quite difficult. This stops that because both eyes react the same. So when you take the unit down, both eyes are then coming back up to see around you at the same sort of time. So this is the 400 meter version. So it's a bit larger. The only downside to this is it does become quite heavy when you put the eight batteries in there. It takes eight AA batteries, but once again, cheap option to use, set of rechargeable batteries for that and it's just going to keep going and going and going buttons on the top once again very clear easy to use you can feel the power button because it's got a raised section for that the zoom is one button so you haven't got to think about which one's up or which one's down you just press that and it will do what it needs to do with going up through the magnifications and create a loop does also have a picture and recording mode memory card slots on the side daytime focus adapter, and your parallax is at the front. Now for the money, this really is in a league of its own. You have Pulsar products with things like the 860s. They're a bit more money. They're not really giving you any more range. They're maybe slightly more compact, but the clarity on that Elite unit, it is a better clarity and it is cheaper. It's just that little bit heavier and that little bit bulkier. So as long as you can live with that, that will be the better one to go for. So that's a roundup of what we've got here on the table. There are a few more options to go for and to look at. So one of which would be the Night Sight range of products. They've got a new 2019 range, which means their RTEC camera is included on every single one of them, whether that be the Viper, the Wolf, or the Eagle. So it's a nice little upgrade there. They have come away from using the 900 series IR and back to the 800 series. So you do get that little bit more glow from the unit but it does boost that range again. So it makes it, it does make it a very good product. It can be a little bit bulky on top, but if you could just be out for a few hours, using it on top of a fence, you're not crawling through and getting through bushes or anything like that, things could get snagged, then the night sight is gonna be a very good product for you. Right, that I think that pretty much rounds up what we've got here and what we think the 2019 night vision range has to offer. 
If there is anything you'd like to see more of or anything we've missed out and you think we should include, please drop us a message. Thanks for watching.